Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and another scam that is to check out in more scam alert that I think everybody should be educated on are fake web pages that try to make you think you're infected. They will actually imitate a virus scan or, you know, they will tell you you got this amount of viruses detected and you need to call a number or click here to download something. Once again, these are scams. Sometimes it's your computer's infected. There's a voice that's going to say your computer's infected and we are locking it down. Uh, this is less of a big issue than it used to be. They used to be able to kind of lock your browser into a way that it was difficult to actually have the browser, you know, get out of your browser and, and do something. So uh, today, the browsers are pretty immune to the lockdown, so you can just shut them down and that's it. But you can also, just to make sure that everything's all right, restart your PC. So the scam looks like, you know, something like this. Computer may be infected. Call now. Uh, text support. Uh, it could be a security alert of this kind. Your system is uh, under attack or numerous virus attack. Google Chrome recommends you install proper software. Uh, it And you see here, it, it's going to do a fake scan. This is fake. It's not even scanning. It's just pretending that it scans. And, uh, of course, this, these kinds of things that are be like, here you go. And they're trying to lure you once again and having, and they're telling you this is Microsoft support and that this is something that you need to do something right now. They're trying to actually kind of hint that this comes from Microsoft. In reality, Microsoft does not do that. Fake Norton threats of all kind, like you see here, Norton by Symantec, but it's, once again, an imitation. It's not the true Norton. It's not a true scan. Once again, another phony number that you call that, yeah, somebody will be on the line on the other end, but they're going to scam you. And so this uh, is very popular. As uh, when I was a tech guy, this was one of the things that happened regularly to uh, some of the clients that would call me and say, look, I I got a virus and then I would see this and it's like, no, you don't. And some have called the numbers and got, you know, bills of two, three, four hundred dollars on their credit cards. So uh, these are all fake. What do you do when that happens today? For the most part, you just go on the upper right corner and click the X for the closing down the browser. That's it. Nothing. You don't have viruses. It's fake. They're trying to lure you once again. Um, the other thing you can do is simply restart. So click the start button and go into your restart to restart your PC. If it's not available, you can click control, halt, delete on the keyboard, actually all three keys together and restart from there. Once again, you're not infected and there's nothing wrong with your PC. Now I will say one thing, if you do get these messages, the websites you're visiting are shady and should not be visited. So you're going to websites that shouldn't be visited. It's very important. Uh, the only places these show up are really bad websites. And it can be from porn sites. It can be from illegal download sites. It can be from all sorts of shady websites that are trying to, once again, you know, attract you into maybe getting free stuff or uh, maybe you're trying to find, you know, cracks for a, a software. And that's the problem is that you're putting yourself at risk. Um, and this is an example that, you know, when you do bad things, you get bitten. And sometimes it's not. Most of the times that is fake. But you know what? Um, that tells you that you're living the dangerous life. Once again, no antivirus is going to protect you from that. You have to stop going to these websites. That's all. It's the only way that you'll really have, um, you know, be okay. So remember, they only appear on shady websites. They won't appear on, you know, Google, good websites that you everybody go to, your favorite newspaper, so on. That never shows up on these pages. That shows up on a shady site. If that would pop up on a good website that you, you know, that that is safe that would mean you are probably infected. 
but um, this is usually you just restart and that's fine. So spread the word. All you have to do is close on the browser or restart your PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.